All right, welcome back to eSim Studios. A quick update on obviously the Google Pixel 10 Pro. Just received the November security patch update along with the feature drop, right? Had a number of features and themes, right? Did that did that update fix anything? Well, here you can tell we're updated to the November security patch. And unfortunately, Google Play System update is still on October. I just checked it. Not available. It is what it is. Let's see if this update improved the GPU. So I already ran the test. Honestly, I did them yesterday. But let's look at the scores. I ran GPU test. I did the Vulkan and the OpenCL, and then I did a CPU benchmark test. So let's go to history and let's see what numbers we got. So today's the 14th, and as you can tell, the so yesterday I ran this. Well, I guess it was an afternoon, but the one before that was October 31st, about two weeks before that. So this is I got the November security patch. And I immediately updated my phone, restarted it, and then did benchmarking testing. So this is the scores right after I updated the phone with this latest November security patch. And as you can tell, single core 2334 and before the November security patch and update 2320. Did it improve? Slightly. Multi-core, as you can tell, just slightly lower than the previous one. So CPU history and or performance did not change now gpu let's go there so this one will be open cl right here this one will be vulcan so open cl after the november security patch let's compare it to the open cl right here before the update 3224 3249 was it an improvement eh, like what one percent and then vulcan 3715 Let's go to the Vulcan in the October patch, 3704. So it does not look like the November security the November security patch and or feature drop did not include the the GPU driver improvement. So performance still lacking on the Pixel, but if you buy a Pixel, if you own a Pixel, you know this is not a gaming beast, right? This is not going to go neck and neck with the one, new OnePlus 15. This is not going to go neck and neck with the S25 Ultra. It's just not. But what it does do is cool AI stuff, right? And does it pretty fluidly.